Hello everyone, welcome back to the Easy and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is dividing mixed fractions. Let's start with question one. We have first fraction of one and a half divided by two and a half. Let me grab my pen. So the first thing is with mixed fraction we do we convert it into normal fractions. So we multiply our denominator by one and add our numerator. So two times one is two plus one is three. And we write down our denominator two as it is, and we bring our division sign as it is. And we do the same thing for the second fractions. Two times two is four plus one is five, and we bring over our denominator as this. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we keep the first fraction as it is, three over two, and we change the division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fraction, we flip it over. It is five over two, we write it down as a two over five. Now we check whether we can uh, cross multiply. So we can, we can cancel two and two, so 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once. So now we multiply our numerators. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 1 is 5. So our final solution is 3 over 5. Moving on to question 2. If we have 2 on one third divided by 1 on one third. Again, with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominator 3 as it is, and we bring over division sign as it is. And we do the same thing with the second fraction. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And we bring over denominator 3 as it is. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we keep the first fraction 7 of 3 as it is. And we change our division sign into multiplications and we take the reciprocal of the second fractions. It is 4 over 3, we write down at 3 over 4. Now we check whether we can cancel anything. Yeah, we can cancel 3 and 3. So 3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 3 once. So we multiply our numerators first now, 1 times 7 is 7, and 1 times 4, so we multiply our denominators, 1 times 4 is 4. So now our solution is 7 over 4, but this is improper fraction, we want to write down as a mixed fraction, so our final solution is 1 and 3 over 4. Moving on to question 3. We have 1 and 1 quarter divided by 2 and 1 quarter. Again, with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fraction. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And we write down our denominator as it is, 4, and we bring our division sign as it is. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and we bring our denominator 4 as it is. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions, so we keep the first fraction as this, 5 over 4, as this, and we change our division sign into multiplications. Now we take the reciprocal of the second fractions, it is 9 over 4, we write down as a 4 over 9. Now we check whether we can cancel anything, yep, we can cancel 4 and 4, so 4 goes into 4 once. And 4 goes into 4 once. So now we multiply our numerators. So 1 times 5 is 5, and 9 times 1 is 9. So we we'll find a solution as 5 over 9. Moving on to question 4. We have 1 and 1 over 5 divided by 2 and 1 over 5. Again, with, with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fraction. So 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Then we bring our denominator 5 as it is. And we bring our division sign as it is. 
we do the same thing for the second fraction. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And we bring about 5 uh, as this. Now we have a normal fraction with divisions. So we keep the first fraction, 5 over 6, as this. And we change our division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So it is 11 over 5. We write down as 5 over 11. Now we check whether we can cancel anything. Yep, we can cancel 5 and 5. So 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 5 once. Now you multiply our numerators. So 1 times 6 is 6. 11 times 1 is 11. So our final solution is 6 over 11. Moving on to question 5. We have 3 and a half divided by 2 and 1 third. Again, with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fraction first. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring our denominator 2 as this. And we bring our division sign as this. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominator 3 as this. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we write down the first fraction as this. So 7 over 2, we write down 7 over 2, and we change the division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fraction, so it is 7 over 3, we write down as a 3 over 7. Now we check whether we can cancel anything. Yeah, we can cancel 7 and 7. So 7 goes to 7 once, and 7 goes to 7 once. Now we times our numerators. 1 times 3 is 3. And we times our denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. So our solution is 3 over 2. But this is improper fractions. We want to write down as a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 1 and half. Moving on to question 6. We have 2 on 1 third divided by 1 1 quarters. Again, with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fractions. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and we write down our denominator 3 as this. We bring our division sign as this, we do the same thing for the second fraction. So 4 times 1 is 4, and plus 1 is 5, and we bring our denominator 4 as this. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we write down the first fraction as this, and we change our division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fractions, so it is 5 over 4, we write down as a 4 over 5. Now we check whether we can count anything, we can't count anything, so we multiply by numerator first, 4 times 7 is 28, and we times our denominators, 5 times 3 is 15. So our solution is 28 over 15. But this is improper fractions, you want to write down as a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 1 and 13 over 15. Moving on to question 7. If you have 1, 1 over 6, divided by 2 and 1 third. The first things we do with the mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fractions. So 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominator 6 as it is. We bring over division sign as it is. We do the same thing for the second fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominator 3 as it is. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we bring over first fraction as it is. And we change over division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fractions. So it is 7 over 3, we write down as a 3 over 7. We check whether we can cancel anything. Yeah, we can cancel 7 and 7, 3 and 6. So 7 goes into 7 once, and 7 goes into 7 once. And 3 goes into 3 once, and 6 goes into 3 two times. So our final solution is a half. Moving on to question 8, we have 4 and half divided by 1 and 1 sixth. Again, we convert the 
the mi of a mixed fraction into normal fraction. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And we bring over denominator 2 as this. And we bring over division sign as this. And we do the same thing with the second fraction. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominator 6 as this. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions. So we keep the first fraction as this, 9 over 2. We change our division sign into multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fractions. So it is 7 over uh, 6. We will write it down as a 6 over 7. Now we check whether we can cancel anything. Yep, yeah, we can cancel 2 and 6. So 2 goes into 2 once. 6 goes into 2 3 times. Now we multiply our numerators, so 3 times 9 is 27, 7 times 1 is 7. So our solution is 27 over 7, but this is in proper fraction, you want to write down as a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 3 and 6 over 7. Moving on to question 9, we have 5 and half divided by 2 and 1 third. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into a normal fraction. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And we bring over denominator 2 as this. And we bring over division sign as this. We do the same thing for the second fractions. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And we bring over denominators 3 as this. Now we have normal fraction of divisions. So we keep the first fraction, 11 over 2, as it is. We change our division sign and two multiplications. And we take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So it is 7 over 3. We write down as a 3 over 7. We can't cancel anything. So we multiply our numerators first. 3 times 11 is 33. And 7 times 2 is 14. So this is our solution, but it is an improper fraction, so we want to write down as a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 2 and 5 over 14. Moving on to our last question, question 10. We have 1 and 1 over 8 divided by 2 and a half. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fraction, so 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9, and we write down over denominator 8 as this, and we bring over division sign as this. And we do the same thing for the second fraction, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, we write down over denominator as this too. Now we have a normal fraction of divisions, so we write down our first fraction as this, we change our division sign into multiplications and we take the reciprocal of the second fraction so it is 5 over 2 we write down as a 2 over 5 now we check whether we can cancel anything yeah we can cancel 2 and 8 so 2 goes into 2 once and 8 goes into 2 4 times so now we times over Numerators first, so 1 times 9 is 9, and we times our denominator, so 5 times 4 is 20. So our final solution is 9 over 20. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.